preaching about my true and real religion, a lot of people come up to me and say, surely, schizophrenic Mitch, surely you believe that the Bible is true and that it is a good uh, mode of determining our morality, but no, I actually, no, I do not believe that. If you are to read the Bible and read about the God of the Old Testament, you will find a God that has no concept of morality whatsoever. And unfortunately, if you base your morality on such an old and ancient book, you're going to be falling short of the reality that we are able to achieve today if we listen to the flying spaghetti monster and listen to his noodly appendage and what he teaches us. <clears throat> addicted to some old and ancient religion. Everyone knows that religion is one of the greatest addictions that a human can have. We are very susceptible to it, to an old mythology. A lot of people believe in what Muhammad said, even though it's provably false. There's a lot of people in this world that believe in Buddhism and that spirituality really hooks into what it is to be a human. So a lot of people believe in the blood cult of Jesus, so-called Christ. And if you do believe in these ancient mythologies, I can help you. Yes, do you have any questions? I don't want your papers. Do you want mine? Do you want my paper? Jesus was a liar, Jesus I can prove it to you. Do you have four hours? I can prove Jesus lied. If Jesus lied to you, would you like to know? If Jesus was a liar, would you even care? You can't hear what I'm saying because Jesus has taken over your ears. You've, you've deafened yourself to me. You've deafened yourself to the truth. Jesus Christ has asked you to blind yourself and deafen yourself to the truth. You can't even answer any of the questions that I have. If Jesus Christ was a liar, would you want to know? If Jesus Christ was imperfect, would you want to know? Would you want the evidence? If Jesus Christ is provably false, would you want to see the evidence? If I could prove that your religion was mythology, would you even want to see the evidence? Or would you excuse the evidence before I even presented it? That's how you know you're in a cult, friends. If you're not allowed to listen to the evidence of the other side. You as well. Team Vegan, good luck. If the Quran was false, would you want to know? If the Bhagavad Gita was mythology, would you want to know? If your New Testament was mythological, would you even want to know? Or is your identity tied into the fact that it must be true? Has this society tried to tell you that you are a Christian? That you must give up who you are? That you must stop being you? and you must start being more like your perfect brother Christ. This is a cult, friends. There are a very simple definition of cult. Do you worship one person and pretend that he is better than all the others? That's a cult. If you are sick of the cult of Jesus, so-called Christ, you step up. I can help you set that down. I was a pagan, like you, I was a heathen. I believed in a false god like we all do. For 37 years of my life, I believed in the blood cult of Jesus, the so-called Christ. I gave up my individuality and attempted to become like my so-called perfect brother. Even though in my own eyes I could see things that he was doing that I could do better. I tried to set down my own thoughts and become more like the perfect Christ that lived 2,000 years ago in the Bronze Age and was very sexist and racist and believed in genocide and slavery. I pretended that a person like that could be perfect, even though belief in slavery is proof of imperfection.